Hey you guys, welcome to How Do You Know Tarot. It is your girl Aaliyah here at Spiritually LLC. And let's get into these messages. Listen, I did get my um, mic. I did get it. Um, I just didn't open it yet. So bear with me because I wasn't even going to drop this message, but the ancestors was like, drop it. So, as you can see, I ain't even really, you know, to get ready for the day yet. And I'm here dropping messages. I did brush my teeth, wash my face, but that was it, okay? So, let's get, let's get into this. So, basically, this is about karmic feminines and karmic masculines. The ancestors said, some of you guys are confused about what this means. Now... You have divine feminine and divine masculine, karmic masculines and karmic feminines. Now, a divine feminine, divine masculine does not mean this. you are perfect. You probably have been through lots of things, things that karmics might even go through. Like, we're not, we're, you're not perfect, right? Nobody's perfect, okay? But the thing is, divine feminine and divine masculine... There's probably a point in time where they either did not know their worth, did not know who they are, also been around so many karmic people that they started to pick up karmic behaviors, okay? I have a high priestess friend who, who was talking about this too. So now, these are traits of karmic masculines, right? These are people with no identity, so, and they like to steal other people's gifts, ideas, or destiny, right? Um these karmic masculines and females they don't want other people or the divine feminine and masculine to reach their full potential so even if they're in a position to help you get further they will not help you get further they will try to bring you down try to keep you stagnant try to keep you at a certain level they don't want you to be out the box or you know get out the box um they don't want you to move up okay they don't want you to have your own way of making it okay so let's not confuse guys the karmic masculines and karmic feminines with divine masculines and divine feminines right because there's a lot of mirror going on it's a lot of mirror work right divine feminines and masculines right now are mirroring a lot of these karmics and that is a form of protection right people attack you just throw up the mirror okay and this is another thing they cannot they cannot take that mirror that mirror you throwing up their mirror that mirror you doing your actions like right now i feel like you guys are doing things that these people did to you so and you probably don't even know it but that's how protected you are the ancestors are making you return that energy back to them right throw that mirror up which is returning that energy back to them um these people cause confusion, karmic masculines and karmic feminines want, they actively want to cause confusion. They try to get in your head, try to cause um, you, you to be in your head, to have you confused, to have you kind of like delusional. They lie a lot. And when I say lie a lot, like, I don't mean like, because listen, I'll lie to protect some of my shit from people. You know what I mean? Because so, so many people be on my dick. Uh, <laughs> but they, like, just lie to have you second-guessing yourself, to have you questioning yourself, to have you... Just, they want to bring down your hope. They want to bring down your faith in yourself. They want to make you feel like you can't accomplish certain things. Okay, they also want to make you feel like you're like them, and these people are low, 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 low. You understand? So that's a problem. Um, they can they cause chaos. Now there can be divine chaos and just chaos, devilish chaos, and they're I'll be here trying to cause devilish chaos. Okay. Um, yes, baby. They are have a tendency to be jealous or envious they they you'll know this too that they'll try to do everything like you and they'll also try to get you to stop things that you're doing or got going on so that they can pick up those same things okay like all right 
there's a bitch talking about oh excuse me there's a girl that i know who's starting to sell these certain things that i used to sell that i i stopped okay she's giving karmic all right um she's giving trying to destiny swap you know they're trying to be you type bob um you could probably be very good at something and they will try to do it and they are not good at it at all okay so like for my men like you could have like really good gifts like maybe you could rap Okay, and then you'll have people around you who can't fucking rap at all, who are horrible, sound horrible, sound horrible in a mic, sound crazy, and they're paying money to go <laughs> to lay down tracks or whatever that are horrible. Like, you know, but okay, it's given they wanted your gift. Um... Well, listen, y'all, these karmics are livid. They're punching the air. I saw that one thread. Somebody was like, you got your enemies punching the air right now. And that's really a fact. They're punching the air. All their plots to end you failed. All their plots to stop you, block you failed. And they're also scared because they know they knew what they were trying to do to you guys. And they know they're seeing that that's going to come back to them. I don't know if you guys, they understood that the wheels will turn back. It's always going to turn back. And when it turns, the wheel is always going around. And when it turns back, they're going to be asked out, upset. So um, the number 25 could be significant. I don't know what that's about. The number 7 could be significant. 7, 7, 7. This is another thing too, guys. They don't understand that um, these karmic masculines and karmic feminines don't understand that every time they attack you it's transmuted like you get a check like you get, <laughs> the ancestors pay you like i don't i don't know what that's about but that's what i'm hearing like every time they attack you you get a check big checks Ooh. um so okay don't let these karmic stop you okay you're gonna have people who like hate on your shit, who not, who's not like, who's not gonna support you, uh, people that you know or whatever. It's okay, it's okay because there are millions of people waiting on you. They've been waiting on you to come. In whatever field that it is that you're going into, they've been waiting. Whether it's hair, nails, makeup. Um, look how my my <laughs> the filter cable, <laughs> makeup. Um. you know astrology mediumship high priestess uh you know spiritual guide there are people waiting on you a doctor there are people waiting on you to come and be you for them to be you for them they've been waiting on you they've been waiting on you for i feel like lifetimes i feel like this goes beyond earth Okay, so don't let these karmics start, stop you. But also remember, too, there can be karmics in your family, karmic people in the street. But karmics, like just because somebody's your family member does not mean they're not karmic to you. Okay, and this is why certain things, I feel like certain things you were trying to do have been blocked before or delayed or slowed down or whatever and that's because these karmic people have been watching you been watching you been talking about you there's another thing too divine feminine who are spiritualists you have like some exes and mad because they over here paying the voodoo man thousands of dollars and you you are now a high priestess type of vibe or you are very spiritual like you could do all the work that they go in to get done you can you're doing it for free they're mad about that they're livid like they're they're like oh my god why did i leave it like i fucked up there yeah. and they could have moved on in their lives but yeah they're mad about that so anyways that's it that's the short messages i have to get back to what i'm doing with, with my children at home okay y'all have a good day spiritually llc.com if you need to book a reading spiritual bath candles all that spiritually llc.com all right later